our community. What most of us think when we hear the word our community is that it refers to the place where we are living or the place we were born. However, through my experience, I think it isn't just that. We can expand our community by just reaching out to others who are in need. Good day everyone! I am Omar B. Pesebre from the Philippines. Wherever and whenever you are, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will tell you a story about how I joined my community to be a force for good. Before I jump right into it, let me give you a short background about myself. I am just a simple student in which my priority is mostly on my academics. However, this changed when I entered high school. Currently, I am studying at the De La Salle Santiago Sobel School as a scholar. What's special about this school is that they incorporate leader in me habits in our discussions, academic tasks, practices, and many other more. Furthermore, I am really grateful to this school because they introduced me to my new community. My school allowed me to help people who are in need. Specifically, I and my class once went to a village which is home to many kids who do not have their parents with them or do not have houses to live in. As a member of the class, I participated in planning and performing different activities for them. We provided them with food, books, gifts, and other things. In addition, we also conducted games for the children and gave them prizes. The main event here is that we also conducted healthcare tutorials. In my case, I led my group in teaching the young ones how to wash their hands properly, especially since hygiene is important in our lives, right? While watching the kids follow the procedures on how to wash their hands properly, I was captivated. I can see through their eyes their eagerness and happiness to learn and grow. At that moment, I realized that there is still hope. Their reactions and emotions made me think about the beauty of being happy. Even though they have difficulty in their lives, they still choose to be joyful. And that is inspiring. As a leader, it motivated me in various ways. First, my experience with the children taught me that whatever obstacle I face with my leadership, I just need to be happy and move forward. Secondly, it handed me a new definition of having a reward. Achieving something is not just about gaining medals, trophies, or acknowledgements. Sometimes, it can just be receiving a simple smile from the ones you have assisted. Lastly, it pushed me to further help many more and continuously expand my community. As a young leader, after that moment, my leadership style evolved. Now, I can guide people on how they can lessen and cope with their struggles. Nowadays, many people are too materialistic. Hence, with my experience dealing with the lovable children before, I can now remind people to look at the macro level of life. In accordance, my leadership skills do not just revolve around providing physical things. Now, I can also provide mental, emotional, social, and spiritual support. As a young leader, I believe I can still do more. How about you? Can you do more? Of course! Once again, I'm Omar B. Pesebre from the Philippines. Until next time, thank you for watching.